Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Abel. This is Tank Cat Videos. I'm gonna try to turn this clay pot here into a cave for uh, my secrets. Anyway, I got a drill, cheap drill, but I got a drill. Got me this uh, set here of drill bits, drill kit, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna try using them. Uh, masonry uh, drill bits here. Yeah. Okay, so now you're gonna want to need a marker, okay? Uh, highlighter marker or whatever. Something to uh, figure out where you're cutting that or drilling that. All right, so I got my drill brick. And then remember to make sure to put on some safety glasses, anything to protect your eyes, all right? Safety first. over and over all right guys let me show you a man pot yeah complete circle no total chaos for sure all right i will fix this it will look good for real all right guys now i'm gonna use my drill with this masonry bit on it I'm gonna try to smooth it out these sides so I don't have to use sandpaper. And then with these cracks right here, I'm gonna use super glue to patch these cracks up. Yeah, I know it was ghetto fabulous. It ain't gonna be pretty at all. I thought it would be, but if it was pretty, it wouldn't be me. So anyway, see this top right here? I already smoothed that out with the drill. So now I'm gonna try to just smooth this stuff out right here so it don't cut up the fish, all right? All right, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is the very first clay pot that I've been working on, ever worked on, and uh, all I want to say is, epic fail, baby. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, fortunately for me, I'm a crafty person. So, I will, uh, well, actually, no, that's not true because I broke my craft I'm working on. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, that was stupid. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, it's sad when you make yourself laugh. Anyway, um, I'm going to take some of the super glue here. It's the original super glue gel. You can pick this up at Home Depot uh, for real cheap. This clay pot I picked up at Lowell's. It's a six inch clay pot. I picked it up at Lowell's for $1.25, so Lowell's is dope. Home Depot got my glue that I love, so I gotta go to Home Depot for that. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna super glue this thing together and uh, still work on it, cause I got plans for this. Anyway, uh, see you guys in a minute. All right, guys. Um, if you can tell by the way I work, I am not a handyman at all. That's why I work in production. Uh, I, I'm a shipper and a receiver, so I don't really work with tools a lot other than hammer and nails, 
and uh, occasionally uh, driving around forklifts and stuff like that. But anyway, so I'm gonna show you a quick tip. If you uh, ain't got no file, cause see what I'm doing is I super glued it up. Bam, look nice like never busted. Okay, so I super glued that up. And then, so this is an old school broken uh, tool that I got here. This thing is broken. This here is, is broken. So anyway, this is broken. So, but this has some decent grip, right? So what I'm doing is I'm using this grip here as a sander. So, and all I'm doing is just like here where it's hard right here on this side. I look underneath, I grab this, I'm very gentle with it. That's all I'm doing. Taking off all the hard parts. All the jagged edges. <sighs> Gotta be careful though. I don't really want to do this on camera because I don't want to break it again. But anyway, this is what I'm sanding it down with. So I don't have any sandpaper. I don't want to use sandpaper. Probably be easier or whatever. I don't know. I've never worked with sandpaper. That's why I don't want to use it. Anyway, whatever's easy for you, go for it. But this is my first time working with a clay pot and I got plans for it. So uh, you'll see it when it's done. Okay guys, so I uh, filed it up, I washed it, remember this thing was broken, I washed it real good, super glue is amazing, so there it is, my cichlid is going to get very very big, so this is not for the African cichlids, so this is actually going to be for about big cichlids for as long as they can house them, so anyway, um, yeah, so this is good to go. I got all this stuff filed here with a filer. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see if I can get this fake plant. First, I'm gonna rinse this fake plant that I've had for a very long time, never used it. I'm gonna freaking rinse this and then see if I can put this on top here like that. So that way, while it's in there, at least it has some, you know, plants or whatever. So anyway, this all has a point, so just bear with me. But anyway, it's still in progress. Shouldn't have taken this long, but it exploded in my hand when I was drilling it. So, but uh, for my first uh, clay pot, I think it looks uh, pretty cool. It looks pretty good to me. So anyway, uh, all right, guys, there it is, right there. And all I did was took my wife's suggestion and pushed the plant right through the hole. So there was no super glue involved. So I'm glad because earlier I super glued the crap out of my finger, my wrist, and my thumb. So just wasn't with it today so anyway um yeah if you're looking at the back i got the uh, popcorn cheez it's and soda we rented a movie at the red box today so it's gonna be on after this video so anyway uh but yeah so this is gonna go in the tank and i'll show you what i'm up All to right, guys so i got the uh clay pot in there and i think it actually looks really freaking cool uh so what i'm trying to do to this tank is I'm trying to, everything that I know about keeping down aggression, I'm trying to put into practice here. So I'm trying to put as much plants in there as I can to, you know, offer, offer safety for the fishes. I got the uh, pirate boat. I got the skeleton in there for the, the fish to hide in, and it's being occupied. I got the blood parrot in there. I got the fire mouth and the jaguar skull. So I'm hoping that the clay pot will be used for this new addition here. I just added him yesterday. This uh, Severum Cichlid. He's a turquoise Severum Cichlid. And uh, these guys get about 10 inches. Um, blood Parrot, I think 8 to 10 inches. Um, ever since I the, cichlid, the Severum's been inside, the Parrot comes out now and he just harasses them. But... It's cool because it's nice to see the parrot, but they don't fight or lip lock or anything like that. They just kind of, he just kind of pushes them around. So the Oscar's in there, losing his mind because he saw the big old pot in there. I didn't mess with the Oscar space. So that back part there, that's the Oscar space. I didn't mess with that at all. Excuse me. God. Anyway, um, so my goal was to upgrade uh, the tank here. My goal is to upgrade the tank here in the future. That is my goal. So if it doesn't happen, I will rehome some of these fish. But that's the reason why I'm putting so many things in this tank. 
is because one, I know it's a bare bottom tank and I'm just trying to offer shade and protection for all these fish. So, um, hopefully the turquoise severum cichlid will go into the pot and take the pot. And he is so, so cool. I like his freckles. I mean, he's just gorgeous. I think he's so cool. So, and there goes my blood pair. See, he finally comes out. Normally he doesn't come out. That's the most he's came out all day long. See, and he just goes, and the, the guy's just like, whatever, you ain't gonna catch me. And so, and uh, the Oscar, he just kind of swims up in the middle anyway. And if not, he'll go lay by the sponge filter. That's where he kicks it, so. Anyway, guys, I know this is a small tank, and I know that, you know, it's not okay to put all these fish in together. I know that. So my goal is to upgrade. If not, then I will make to, I will have to make some hard decisions and rehome a couple of fish, so. But uh, honestly, I freaking, uh, I love all four of these fish, man. I love that fire mouth. I love the freaking, the turquoise severum, the Oscar and the blood parrot. They just, they got a hold of me. So any ideas on how to make it all work? Any suggestions on how to make it all work? Man, I'm all ears. Uh, I love to live in the solution. So any suggestions, any ideas, man, let me know. So sorry this video took so long. My first clay pot. Um... But I think it came out pretty freaking cool. So it fits the tank, you know. So I like it. If it would have been a perfect circle hole, I think it would have been too perfect. I mean, I would have liked to be a perfect circle. But anyway, it's all good. It's a nice big giant hole. See those Oscar. He's just chilling. I mean, he's not. He doesn't chase anybody. He just chills. And uh, fire mouth is very skittish. And so. And. This fish here, like, even though the uh, blood parrot messes with him, he stays by the blood parrot. Like, he could, you know, he could swim all over the tank if he wanted to. And he just likes this area. So I think this is his territory. So I put a little plant right there for him. Um, and so, uh, you know, but I'm hoping that the fire mouth, the blood parrot, or somebody will take that up. So anyway, uh, yeah. So anyway, guys, this is uh, my... Uh, cichlid addiction right here going on so anyway uh comment like and subscribe i'm being brutally honest i'm being me so i'm all for constructive criticism so <laughs> anyway uh all right guys you guys have a good one this is able tankhead videos later